On a current affair tonight, the Perth home that's a YouTube hit, but there's a Grinch in the neighbourhood. YouTube has put a Perth's family, Perth family's home on the world map and when you see how they've decorated their house for Christmas, you'll know why. But there's a Grinch in their neighbourhood who's less than impressed by the spectacular light show. It takes the man behind the lighting display, Kim Illman, 50 hours of grinding the computer keyboard to produce one synchronised song. Using a plan of his house and software he bought from America, he coordinates the timing of each flash of light. And here we got a mega tree here. I've got a tree that's got some 44 different channels of lighting on it. And as you can see, this is what's happening. So that's blue and then it goes to pink and white and you program it all using this and then you come out here and sit on the lawn and see how it actually looks before you fine tune it. So it's absolutely painstaking. 50 hours it takes and you think you've got it right and there's always something not quite right so it's never ever a finished piece of art. Kim says when he first set up this masterpiece none of his friends thought he was doing anything out of the ordinary. Our friends and family and workmates know that uh, we like to do some interesting things and I think there's not much more interesting than this. But Kim's sons, Jason Tyler, know better. Did you think your dad was mad when he was putting up all these lights? <laughs> no. No, it was a tiny bit because he got angry at the lights. <laughs> he hadn't been doing them for a few years before we actually moved into the area and when we saw what he did every Christmas we felt that we had to also do something to provide a little bit of variety. Tony Spears is Kim's neighbour. Her house isn't linked up to the synchronised music, but if Kim gets his way, both homes will be flashing merrily together. Having this busy atmosphere every night in the street, do you get tired of it? Not at all. I love it, especially seeing the kids' faces and how excited they get when, si when Santa starts singing and dancing or when the bubbles come out of the bubble machine. They just love it. You can hear the music through radio frequency 92.5 FM. And if you stop or park somewhere you're not supposed to, Kim will let you know about it. The silver car, could you please move? The silver car, yes, sir. Could you please keep moving? It's disrupting traffic. Thank you. Traffic jams, blocked driveways and hordes of pedestrians transform the once quiet cul-de-sac. But mostly the neighbours are happy to soak up the atmosphere. Local Chris Avens brings his daughter Bethany every night. Any time she's um, playing art, we tell her she has to stop, otherwise she won't see the Christmas lights. So, yeah, it works every time. But with every Christmas street comes a Christmas Grinch. And in Bishop Riley Way, there's no exception. The woman walking past with her dog may just be the Churchland's Grinch, posting a mean-spirited letter into the post box of one of the homes. Kim says the house is set up in the name of charity, last year donating $12,000 to Princess Margaret Hospital. Uh, last year a prominent WA sportsman dropped off 18 $100 bills on Christmas Eve and that was gratefully received. And he hopes to convert the whole street. I think there's a few families here that might be interested, they need some persuasion, um, but if they've got a Christmas spirit and a budget to match, we'd love to have them involved. Were you the one who made the complaint to council? Merry Christmas.